frightened? No, no, no. I'm scared. Uh, well, what do I do? Oh, you'll find the manager there very helpful. He knows the ropes. Yeah, but what about the kid? Just two things, Jack. One, show him you're the master. Be firm. Two, take him home and keep hold of him until you're quite sure you've got the right name and address. Right. The sheriff's on his way. Lou, well, we've no wish to prosecute. If we can leave the culprit in your hands. It's only the young man here, so perhaps you'll take charge of him. I certainly will. What's your name, boy? Patrick. Patrick what? Patrick, sir. That was a stupid boy. Your full name. Patrick Montgomery Murphy. <laughs> I was told to be firm. You're not to take him away, Sergeant. You're not to put him in a dungeon. Come on, now, pull yourself together. Look, I've got no wish to frighten you. Come on, now. what's your name? Mary. Mary Murphy. Mary de Valera Murphy. I see. Well, now I must deal with your brother. You know where you're heading. You're heading for the magistrate's court with this sort of behavior. You can't blame me. I not, ain't you? You got to be ready for the court. That's a fact. He's not ready till ten past one come Tuesday. And three minutes to one. Well, that may be. But either way, he's headed for trouble. Now, come on. I'm taking you two home. You think you'll manage, Sergeant? Now, look here, Mr. Manager. For the last ten years, I... Oh, it doesn't matter. Come on. I was just getting around the pram. That's what it was, sir. It's a hard case, is it, Sergeant? Sergeant, I'll tell you just what to do with that stick of yours. What do you want him to do with his stick, Sergeant? Never you mind what I want him to do with but his I stick. But I want to know. We want to know what you want him to do with his stick. Well, it was just a joke, Sergeant. What was the joke, Sergeant? Look, there's a Bentley. No, it isn't it, the Mark 7 Jaguar. Do you not know the difference between a Bentley and a Jag? I didn't see it right. Were you never a detective? Ask him again. Were you never a detective? Yes, I was a detective. Were you no good as a detective? Ask him again. Were you no good as a detective? Is that why you're here, sir? Ask no questions and you'll be told no lies. Would you tell a lie? You. Tell him to stop asking questions. Dry up, kid. That's the Murphy's place. You're known for tough and unsympathetic parts, but romance also plays a very important part in your films. Uh, we've seen you with Peggy Cummins in Hell Drivers, Anne Hayward in Violent Playground, and in your latest film, Sea Fury, there's Luciana Paluzzi. Tell me, Stanley, what are your views on the difference between British and foreign leading ladies? Is it true that our girls have no sex appeal? Oh, no, I don't think that at all, Mac. Uh, this has been said over a few years, you know, that the British girls have no sex appeal. This, is, for me, is a lot of nonsense. This is like saying that no woman in this country has sex appeal. There are actresses all over the country in repertory theatres and other theatres who, given the chance, could use, do this sex appeal that, that people talk about. There's obviously a difference between uh, continental actresses and, and uh, British actresses. I think that too much glamour, too much emphasis is laid on the glamour of, of continental actresses. But um, as I say, you know, I'm going to only give the girls a chance in this country and they have the sex appeal. Look at Anne Haywood, for instance, you know, don't tell me that she hasn't got sex appeal. Sea Fury is set in Spain, a romantic adventure yarn about tugs. In this one, Stanley is a first mate tough as nails and yet with a chance to show his paces as a romantic actor. But in the scene we're going to show you now, girls are far from his mind. In a storm, he's faced with the problem of making safe the explosive cargo of a sinking ship. Baker-sized job.
It was damaged. We've got to get it out of here. Possibly, but, but later, I don't think. We can't wait. Half the oil packing's gone already. Falling into this drum, it'll burn itself right through your keel. If it lays against number one hole with all that gas in there, the whole ship will go up. I see. Captain! You're going to try to help me! Come on! Lift it, Captain! Come on! Lift! Thank you very much, Stanley, for coming along and talking to us. I, I take it that you have no regrets about becoming a film actor? Not at all, Mac. I've been an actor since I was 14 years of age. All I want to do is to go on acting. <laughs> well, there we are. <laughs>